All right, guys. So we're gonna start with taking a shower and cleansing your face. Hi. Always apply your lotion before you do anything to your face. So fresh and clean. And with Max, select cover up. Go ahead and cover up those spots that you don't want anyone else seeing. Because we all know we got them. And they're not good. And using a stippling brush, we're just going to blend it in. You're supposed to do this in the beginning, but I forgot. But put your chapstick on so it helps smooth out your lips. And using Studio Flix Fluid, this is a foundation from MAC. We're just going to put that on our face, in random places obviously. And using the Fix Plus from MAC, go ahead and spray your stippling brush. And then start to blend. And then, using the NYX HD Concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and conceal the spots underneath my eyes, and then a couple more spots to highlight. And then again, using the Fix Plus and the stippling brush, I'm just going to blend that out. And then with the translucent powder, you're just going to run that over your face to set all the product that we just put on. On to the eyes. Using Paint Chitty Paint Pot by MAC, this is going to be used as our base for our eyeshadow. Using the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, we're just going to go in with Tease. This is a really nice transition color. And we're going to place that into our crease. And just keep blending until you get that seamless blend from the eyeshadow to your skin color. And taking the MAC 217, which is a blender brush, we're going to take Snake Bite and just put that into our outer crease. And with the same MAC 217 brush, we're going to go in with Blackout and just put that on the edge of the crease just to deepen it a little bit. We're going to take MAC 219, which is a pencil brush. We're going to go in with Verve, and we're just going to place that into our tear duct, and then dragging that over just onto your lid. And then we're going to go in with Booty Call. This is one of my favorite highlights. We're just going to put that under our brow and create our eyeshadow highlight making sure just to blend it down a little bit with the crease colors. Don't forget to do your eyeliner. Now it's time for eyebrows. I use the NYX Auto Pencil. Going in with just very light strokes, I'm just going to define my eyebrows in the shape that I like them. Now this is why I like that eyebrow pencil. It has a little brush on the other end of it and it really helps with your blending. And then taking any eyeliner, you're just going to tight line the bottom of your eye. Now, I like to curl my eyelashes before I put my eyelashes on, 
the fake ones that is, <laughs> is because it helps to blend them together. Ooh, really quickly, this Sephora little eyelash applicator thingamabob, it has saved my life because I used to not be able to put eyelashes on super fast, but now I can have them on in like 20 seconds to a minute. gonna apply a really light coat of mascara just to blend your eyelashes together. And now taking Oak MAC Lip Pencil, I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to blend in the corners just so it gives a little bit more definition. And then taking Blinkity for MAC, I'm just going to run that over my lips and create the nude lip for you guys. This is one of my favorite lip colors for MAC. Hey, I have to go. Wait, wait, go. And then I'm just going to set my makeup with this setting spray. Now on to the hair. I didn't do anything special, I just blow dried my hair upside down and I'm just going to run the straightener through not getting every single piece because I want to keep some of the body. Alright guys, this is pretty much all I have for you for today. Comment below if you like it and let me know what you think. Bye! two videos or